Welcome back. This is Sunless Map 31. And this was the first attempt, so rather good. That is far different from the next map. So, the first thing I do is I, well, I get the chain gun and then try and get out. As you can see, it didn't work out too well for me, but sometimes you just have to get zapped. Then I will snipe out everything in the vicinity of me, except for the Hell Knight and Revenant. I'll get them later. I want to hug the inside of the squares over there because of one specific reason. That reason being that it will stop the chain gunners from getting alerted. And now I want to get the yellow and red key, as well as this armor bonus. It is one of three, and once you collect all three, you unlock some stuff. Namely, a secret BFG. At this point, I usually just go for the hit scanners first, because they are more likely to do immediate damage to me that I cannot dodge. And then I hit the center one, which releases two arch files. I pick the center one first because the other ones have more monsters in them, and I'd rather not have to deal with the Archvile resurrecting those. It's a waste of ammo. And it also just makes things more difficult because there's less cover. I think I was trying to get the Archvile to infight, but it didn't, so I stopped trying. Except then it did here, which I took advantage of. This one has a chain gunner. Once again, it releases another chain gunner on the other side from a teleporter in that corner. And things didn't go very well here. But as you can see, I still remain. With this revenant, things didn't go too well either. Or maybe it was the other one. Yeah, I think it was this one. I screw up a bunch of times here. First I try to get it to infight, but then it doesn't, because I walk in such a way that moves it out of the line of fire. Then I'm trying to get it to infight again and let it punch me. And then I eventually just punch it out, so yeah. This doesn't leave me with a lot of bullets for this next section, in which five chain gunners are brought in. So I just sort of try and get them to infight. Which I'm partially successful with. There's still a lot of stragglers. During this part, I have to watch out for some of the chain gunners on the starting platform. Which I'm soon to head to, but not yet. I'm looking for the final armor bonus, because I forgot that I missed one. The one right behind this portal that I just went through. And now I'm just running around in circles. At the top of this spire is the secret BFG, which I now take. That is the only secret in this map. I'm not really sure what I'm doing, I don't remember. I guess I go over to that platform again, probably. Yeah, I, I think that's what I do next. Then I take out the chain gunners. As the hit scanners, they are the greatest threat. When you press both of those switch, it releases an arch file, which I decide to just BFG. I believe that the Hell Knight killed the Revenant in battle in fighting, so that's always a good thing. At this point, I'm running around in circles again, trying to get here. 
That jump is really precarious, the one that I just did. It's not dangerous, it's just that I miss it all the time. But this time I got it. At the expense of health, because I get hit by revenants. Now I clean up the last Hell Knight, hit the switch, and go through this door to get a supercharge. This area is another precarious situation, but there are no real precarious situations in this level, because this is the most difficult one. Here I'm just trying to play cautiously. It doesn't work out too well, but I live, so... There's no problems. All of the enemies got into a sort of line, so that just allowed me to stop them from hitting me. I was really trying to conserve ammo there, that's why I was so, I guess, annoyed about switching weapons. Not annoyed, annoying. There's two health bonuses here. I don't know what they're for, but they're for something, I think. They might just not be for anything, so that's always a possibility. I'm finally taking out those Mencubi. When you hit these four switches, it opens the last area and the last enemy. Which of course is an archfile, because this is Sunlust after all. And then you can walk the sky bridge into the exits. This is a very unique level in Sunlust. It is the only like one that's floating in the sky. And on... Well, I use OpenGL all the time, so it has a higher quality sky than normal. It's got the same sky as map 8 when you don't have open GL. However, I think it's a pretty good map. Not as good as some others to come. However, it is pretty good. So, there's that. Goodbye.